security in the Philippines as tens of millions of voters elect a new government following a heated campaign. In the presidential race, the mayor of Davao, Rodrigo Duterte, is expected to land a big victory. Known as the Punisher, Duterte developed a fierce reputation for cracking down on crime, rising in popularity despite international criticism for his comments, making light of rape and proposing mass executions. If I become president, there's no such thing as bloodless cleansing. I propose to get rid of the drugs within three to six months. Criminals, uh, well, I go after them. As long as I do it in accordance with the rules of law, I will keep continue to kill criminals. Human rights groups are calling for investigations into his use of alleged death squads, and his controversial comments have divided the country into diehard supporters and outspoken critics. In the battle for vice president, another controversial character has dominated the campaign, Ferdinand Marcos Jr., known as Bong Bong. He's the son of the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos, whose decades-long rule was tainted by widespread corruption and violence. About half the country's 100 million strong population are eligible to vote in today's poll. Alongside the leadership votes, half the Senate, the entire House of Representatives, and thousands of local government posts will be elected. Polls have now closed, and voters already have a clear idea of the winners. But the official result won't be revealed until early June. Christy Lustow, CNN.